U.S. formally declares Russian military has committed war crimes in Ukraine. Here's a summary of the article. The U.S. government has formally declared that members of the Russian armed forces have committed war crimes in Ukraine, Secretary of State Antony Blinken said in a statement Wednesday. The official U.S. declaration that Moscow has violated the laws of conflict comes after Blinken, President Joe Biden and Deputy Secretary of State Wendy Sherman all said it was their personal opinion that war crimes have taken place. Today, I can announce that, based on information currently available, the U.S. government assesses that members of Russia's forces have committed war crimes in Ukraine, Blinken said in a statement. As with any alleged crime, a court of law with jurisdiction over the crime is ultimately responsible for determining criminal guilt in specific cases, Blinken continued. The U.S. government will continue to track reports of war crimes and will share information we gather with allies, partners, and international institutions and organizations, as appropriate. We are committed to pursuing accountability using every tool available, including criminal prosecutions. Blinken's statement cited credible reports of indiscriminate attacks and attacks deliberately targeting civilians, including the destruction of apartment buildings, schools and hospitals. Last week, Biden accused Russian President Vladimir Putin of war crimes. This post received a score of 73,000, with an upvote ratio of 91%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Important point of clarification for the U.S. to make. It's one thing to say something with this kind of gravity, but another to say you have the proof of law behind it. I wonder if this changes anything for sanctions. Biden is headed to discuss further sanctions with EU as I type this. Type faster. Please. Zelensky's family needs him to survive this. Edit. Corrected spelling. Mixed up with the co-worker's name. If he dies, he will be martyred, and Russia will really be fucked. Volodymyr is with his people, rallying their hearts. Vladimir is hiding in his bunker, purging his own people. And Voldemort. Greater than us formally declares. I know a direct conflict between NATO, USA and Russia is extremely unlikely. But seeing a headline starting this way and with a fair amount of upvotes had me do a double check. Yeah. Made my heart skip a beat. Same, I was like, O-S-H-I-I-I-I-I-I. Wait, never mind. I've been waiting for the emergency alert system to go off on my phone at 3am like usual. But this time will cause my heart to stop. We got an emergency alert three days after the war started those few seconds of panic? Holy shit. Turns out it was snow squalls. Like I give a rat fuck about snow squalls right now. Russia. You do know we have nukes, right? World. Yes you. We said that since the Cold War. You know what? Given the recent state of your military, do you know if you have nukes? There's absolutely no possible way for Russia to maintain a 6,000 nuke stockpile. It costs the US a shitload of money to do so. And despite the Russian insistence that their military is more cost-effective, that's simply not going to be feasible. They can save money by hiring local janitors and security, but nuclear scientists and specialists are hired on a global market and paid high wages regardless of where they live. Russia might be 20 to 40 percent more cost-effective than the US, but realistically they would have to be 95 percent more cost-effective before it becomes anything close to an apples-to-apples comparison. That. S my biggest question around all of this. Nukes are not like conventional bombs you can make and store until use. They require maintenance and care. Especially over long periods of time. I. Am really curious just how many viable nukes they actually have access to then again I. Am sure intel groups probably know this and have a much better picture than the average civilian does right now. It isn't even just the nukes themselves. The delivery systems are just as if not even more important. A viable warhead is useless if you can't get it to target. Ask and Korea. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.